Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Susie. I have uh, two small messages that I received last night from our Father, and I wanted to uh, share with you guys to convey the message to encourage you guys, my brothers and sisters. And today is uh, October 22, 2015. And so last night, you know, I, I prayed, you know, I was just praying and just for encouragement, praying for Israel and what's happening over there. And then I went to sleep and um, the Lord gave me a beautiful dream. Um, and the dream was about a wedding. And um, I was the one getting married and I didn't see who I was getting married to, but it was a wedding day. You know, in that dream, that day was a wedding day. And um, <clears throat> and I was getting ready, and it, it looked like it was in the morning, but the wedding was supposed to happen in the evening time. So, and I was getting ready, my sister uh, was helping and all these things, everybody was busy, you know, we were all getting ready uh, for the evening wedding. And I was like nervous and like, I hope people are going to show up to the wedding, you know, because it didn't, it seemed as if everybody was busy, you know, that I had that, um, knowing that like everybody was busy going to work and doing all uh, their stuff, their thing. And I was kind of worried, like, I hope people are going to show up to the wedding. And, um, but it didn't look good. It didn't look good. Like, um, there's going to be a lot of people at the wedding. I didn't have that kind of feeling that there were going to be a lot of people. So, so yes, I mean, you know, it was a wedding day. I mean, I, the Lord showed me this morning, on October 22, 2015, that it was wedding day. Now, <clears throat> and it was going to happen in the evening. So, um, you know, like we well, like we know, they, we, they will, there's going to be a wedding in heaven, but, you know, we really don't know it, when exactly, you know, um, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ is, is warning us. And I'm pretty sure that he is telling us that it, it's imminent. You know, the message that we are, uh, you know, we are getting is that, you know, it's imminent. This uh, wedding is Im imminent. And uh, it looks like everything, you know, over there is um, is uh, is done. And uh, probably they're just waiting for the bride to show up. You know, normally in the wedding, the bride is the last person who shows up. And so it uh, looks like that's what is, you know, fixing to happen. But it was wedding day in my dream. And, you know, I was getting ready. It was in the evening time. And, um, you know, um, we get, you know, like dressing up and stuff to go to the wedding hall. And I was I'm worried that, you know, I hope people are going to show up. So, you know, basically, you know, he didn't show me, um, most of the details about the, the wedding itself, but he just showed me that it was wedding day and that, you know, um, in the evening, we're going to go there to the hall. And I was worried about the people, if they're going to show up or not. I didn't have a good feeling, you know, like a lot of people would, because they, it, it seemed as if everybody was busy. Everybody was busy with their you know, work and stuff. And so that was the first message that God uh, gave me during the night. And then upon waking this morning, I received another message from God. And this one was really, really, really heavy. You know, um, it was really heavy, it was short and to the point. You know, it was a very, very strong impression upon my heart. Just, just the um, very, very heavy message. You know, he, he, uh, he spoke two words, and I felt like these words he kept on repeating all throughout the night, even though I was having this wedding dream. But you know, I was also having this knowing, like somebody is talking to me, and the words that you know the Lord was speaking was death and destruction death and destruction, death and destruction. Like I could feel the imminency of this destruction that is coming to the world. And so, um, you know, I also, uh, you know, it's also um, close. It looks like, you know, this is also close, death and destruction. You know, it's close. You know, uh, we don't know when exactly when the Lord didn't give us date, but, you know, it's. It, 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 I felt the imminency, brothers and sisters, and it was so heavy upon my heart, so very heavy. You know, I don't even know how to tell you how I was feeling, but it was so heavy. Like death and destruction, death and destruction is coming. It's like, it's just around the corner. And that's how I was feeling. 
like any day, any moment, any time it's going to happen. And so, and this is very heavy message, you know, like I said, you know, one wants to hear about this, but it is what it is, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, it's, it's going to happen because, you know, uh, Jesus this time around when he's coming, you know, he's, he's not coming as a, as a, as a lamb, he's coming as a lion and he will, um, he will, he will destroy his enemies. He will destroy his enemies. And who are his enemies? You might ask, you know, his enemies are the people that, the, 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 the leaders that have, you know, um, they have, uh, you know, they are having their own agenda to to take away the people of God from God, and uh, you know, just uh, to sell this, to to sell people's souls to the devil. And basically, those are his enemies, you know, the leaders and um, the wicked people, and the wicked people. So he's coming this time around. It's not going to be pretty. Sense the first time that he came, he he came. He was very silent. Uh, some people missed it. To this day, they don't believe that Jesus Christ came, the Messiah showed up. They still don't believe because it came, it was very quiet. But this time around, as he's coming down, you know, he's going to, he's going to take his bride, but also there will be death and destruction. There will be death and destruction. So, and that's what this morning I received this message that death and destruction, very, very strong upon my heart. Every fiber of my being was, was receiving this message from God. And it was so heavy. And um, this is not to scare anybody, but I want you guys to be prepared. I want you guys, my brothers and sisters, to uh, to really press in, not to, to not to lose heart, not to get, not to get weary, but to strengthen. And that's one thing that I normally do is I pray for strength. I also pray for strength for my brothers and sisters. But you know, like we are almost at the finish line, and it looks like the devil is increasing the attacks on the bride of Christ on the church. And so we also have to increase our prayers. We have to ask God, Lord, give me strength in this day because we cannot make it on our own. It is his strength that strengthens us and uh, that, that, that strengthens us to go on and to really to finish it, to finish our race on this earth. And so brothers and sisters, these are the two small messages that I had the wedding you know, it was wedding day and, you know, we were going in the evening to, uh, to the wedding banquet hall and also, um, uh, the death and destruction, like I said, it's, it's more or less the same event, but I think the Lord was showing me both sides of it. And that's what I'm thinking. He was showing me both sides of it because, you know, um, the bride will be taken when the bride is taken, there will be death and destruction on the earth, on the world because the Lord is coming as a lion, the lion of Judah, and he will, um, he will, he will attack his uh, enemies. And let me go ahead and read Psalms 45. This Psalms 45, I was given some few days ago by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was, uh, was speaking this verse to me as I slept. And, you know, it was the, the, the voice was just speaking this, this, uh, this Psalm. And then after that, in the, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit said Psalms 45. Psalms 45. As, and I thought that was special. So I wanted you guys also to read this and, um, you know, um, you know, it's, it, it's a gift from the Holy Spirit to all of us. So I'm going to start. And it says, it says, For the director of music to the tune of lilies of the sons of Korah, a wedding song. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a wedding song. You know, it's just, you know, you know, like the message I received today about the wedding. So uh, I think it goes very well. So anyway, it says, My heart is stirred by a noble theme. As I recite my verses for the king, my tongue is a pen of a skillful writer. You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. And this is talking about our Savior, Jesus Christ. Gird your sword on your side, you mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. That's Jesus Christ. Your majesty, your, in your majesty, ride forth victoriously in the cause of truth, humility, and justice. Let your right hand achieve awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows pierce the heart, pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. You see, saints, right there. So this is a psalm of this is a song of a wedding. But as you can see, he's talking about Jesus Christ piercing the hearts of his enemies, the king's enemies. Jesus is the king, and his arrows will pierce the king's the, the enemies, his enemies. 
And he says, let the nations fall beneath your feet. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. As he's coming to come, to gather his bride, the nations will fall beneath his feet. Because he's coming up and he's coming, he's coming from up there he's, as he's descending down. His feet are going to crush. And it's going to crush the, his enemies. Okay. So he says, let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and ar arrows and cassia from palaces adorned with ivory. The music of the strings makes you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. Now, this is the bride. This is the bride. Verse 9. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. At your right hand is the royal bride in the gold of Ophir. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying the bride will wear gold of Ophir. And that's the, uh, the, when, the, when the Lord gave me this psalm, actually, I didn't even know about this. But he also showed me about, you know, a, a princess wearing gold. And then he says, Psalm, um, the, the Holy Spirit said, Psalm 45. So the bride will wear gold of Ophir. It's, you know, the dress was gold. Listen, daughter, and pay careful attention. Forget your people and your father's house. Let the king be enthroned by your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. The city of Tyre will, will come with a gift. People of wealth will seek your favor. All glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garment, she is led to the king. Praise God. We're going to be led to the king soon. Her virgin companions follow her. This brought to be with her. So whenever the bride is going to the king, it looks like she's not going to go alone, but she's going to have companions follow her. This could be her children, and this could be her relatives. Uh, we are all going to go to this uh, marriage supper of the Lamb. Led in with joy and gladness, they enter the palace of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, saints, that's the message that I had for you today. It is about the wedding. The Holy Spirit, <clears throat> Father Jesus, was conveying to us the, uh, the, uh, the eminency of the wedding that is soon. And um, we don't know the date, like I said, but, you know, in that dream, it was today. It was that day in the evening. All right. And then also um, the, the, the apocalyptic uh, the destruction that is coming. He, he made them, the Lord spoke to me clearly. Every fiber of my being received this message that death and destruction is imminent. So, uh, saints, uh, continue to pray. Let's pray for the people also that will be affected whenever these things start, that they will call upon the name of the Lord. Because we do believe that, you know, uh, if, you know, the word, of, the word of God says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we want as many people as possible to go to the kingdom of heaven because it is a good, good place. It's a beautiful, beautiful place that Father and Jesus Christ, they are prepared for us. Okay, saints, that's all I had for you today. Be encouraged. Um, we're going to be up there very soon. This is Sister Susie. Bye.